Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Road to S Rank Plus. Um, some of you may have noticed something different compared to the previous video. I had 36 points, now I only have 25. That's because I actually tried to do a Road to S Rank uh, video a few, about an hour ago. But my recorder completely screwed things up and I was not able to salvage a single moment of footage out of it. And what happened is that I won two matches and lost four, so that's why I'm at 25 points now. It's Splat Zones with Kelp Dome as one of the maps, and I'm using the leader. It's not a surprise. So, <laughs> I upgraded my uh, recording, my recorder to a new version that hopefully uh, works with Windows 10 or whatever the problem was. And hopefully I won't lose a single second of footage from now on, because I really don't want that to happen, especially because it was like I was all like being celebrating things of the fact that I was bringing back Road to S rank after such a long hiatus, but nope, lost all of the footage. Anyway, there is something uh, serious I have to talk about. I've been thinking about changing my rules uh, to add all chargers to available weapons I can use. Wow, A minus, seriously. Because uh, the E leader just won't, won't cut it in uh, rank S. In, especially in splat zones. It just doesn't cut it. And you know what? <laughs> if I win this, it's gonna give me like two points. <laughs> it might even just give me one. But I suppose I should take this freebie while, while I'm at it. And Port Mackerel favors the E leader a bit more than Kelp Dome does. Hopefully I didn't get the A minus players. Anyway, actually, uh, I've never shown Port Mackerel Splat Zones, have I? This uh, unique uh, map in that there is actually two places, two Splat Zones that you have to take care of. Because of that, you have a team that actually plays defense and another one that uh, actually uh, plays offense in this map, usually. Of course, what usually actually happens is there's one player who's a roller, who's being extremely cheap, and another player who's a... Uh, also a roller who's also playing cheap because uh, I lost a match badly because of uh, yeah I see you there well I splat the foe anyway I lost match a match badly because of a carbon roller that just destroyed us and kept sneaking into our base anyway we're in control right now but there's a roller in our base so gotta go take care of him right now and I'm not going to normal way because I'm definitely gonna get splatted if I do that. Got you. I was also really really rusty when I actually uh, like started Road to S rank so that's another reason why I lost quite a few matches. I see you! And there's the freaking Inkzuka. Really? I should have thrown a bomb but whatever. Oh, uh, I mentioned this in the lost footage, but the reason why I use the bobble hat is because I like the bobble hat. I don't care that super jump sucks and whatever. I just like the bobble hat. It's part of my identity. People recognize me for the bobble hat. The cyan trainers and everything else I'm wearing right now, I'm only wearing that for the damage up stuff, but as far as the bobble hat is concerned, it stays no matter what. And I see that. Oh, uh, of course it's a Kraken. What was I supposed to do there? Where are my allies? I can't believe they all died. W what were they doing? Uh, yes, come on. What was I supposed to do? It's, it seems to happen literally every ranked match. I always get the worst of allies. The allies that just don't seem to know how to, like, stay alive. Okay, we have to get control, guys, and freaking get rid of their squid beacons. They don't know how to get rid of their squid beacons. That's one problem for sure. Uh, I splatted a player, but no. Come on! Oh, of course! They can't handle one roller. It was it was the exact same way in my other uh, matches. So I guess you guys aren't missing anything after all. I 
at least uh, the I got a wired connection since uh, my uh, last uh, road to S rank attempt. So it's not as laggy as it was before, fortunately. At least that's what it looks like. Come on! Oh, I really wish we had some sort of freaking squid beacon user right now. Because that roller is really taking advantage of us. And because I'm playing with A, a uh, rank players, I'm going to lose tons of points if I lose this match. Uh, we need to get control. Dang it. Well, I sacrificed myself, but... Jeez, come on! I need to protect our base. We're in control. We have to stay in control for God knows how long, but... I see! Oh, Kraken! Damn it! What is it screwed by invincibility? Anyway, at this rate, I'm definitely gonna drop out of S. Because I decided to, decide today that, you know what, this is the time to bring back old road to S rank. But this is one of the worst rotations for the E leader. One of the worst. Oh my goodness, seven points. So, yeah, I, as I said, I need to add all chargers now to, like, how I play inside uh, ranked mode. I said I would do it with only the E leader. Or the custom e-leader originally. Then I said I would add the normal e-leader. Now, no. Normal e-leader and custom e-leader just can't do anything in splat zones. I have to add the custom... Uh, not the custom, the... Kelp splat charger. And I was about to play regular right there, but... Someone uh, commented on one of my previous videos that... Uh, to get to S+, plus, you pretty much have to carry games. And chargers just aren't good at, uh, at that at all. And I, I want to agree to that too, because... Uh, it, you you guys see what's happening here. I'm losing really, really badly just because of how things are, but I still want to make it happen to prove that chargers can work. Really? Inkbrush users? I've actually been thinking of using the Octobrush myself, but jeez. Wow, come on! They all got splattered except me, and then, then I got splattered because, of course, there's always a deco. Always the freaking deco. There's one on my team, there's one on their teams. Literally every game I've played uh, on splat zones, I've always freaking lost. The, like, I didn't get the advantage in the beginning. And I don't know how that hit me, but I guess it, it's not that surprising. Ugh. <sighs> We're all getting splatted. Gotta change pace. And I see that player there. Can they not? Do they not realize there's a player waiting for us right there? Oh my goodness. I might as well just drop out of S now. God. <sighs> At this rate, I'm seriously concerned just getting my Octobrush out so I can, you know, feel more powerful and have my invincibility. But no, I gotta... I gotta persist. I gotta learn the ropes. I'm, and I'm still rusty, so... Well, at least the gals are on my team now. Yeah, I, I was uh, expecting that. Well, I got the player, but... Yeah, as soon as the roller gets in our base, they easily take control. And it's hard to, to get control back out of them, because... Uh, they can easily, like, sneak by uh, around uh, the location of the splat zone. Yes, finally. Get control. 
There's a freaking squid beacon. Oh, of course. There. Took care of the mess. Oh, he's not gonna take the bait. But I built enough meter. There's a player inside our base. There. Gotta be careful of rollers that sneak around here. Lots of suction bombs going around here. We have the advantage, so just staying on defensive is more than enough for us. Right now! Okay, someone's going for our base, I bet. And I almost got splatted right there. Uh, of course. The Octobrush player just... Wow, tons of damage up, no less. Okay, now we just gotta go back and... Take our base and wow, seriously. Getting splat right there. We still have one of our players taking care of the base. Nice dancing right there, buddy. Of course he's got the Kraken. That's what I was expecting out of him. Bye bye. Because he he was trapped in the corner. Ah. Got to be careful uh, against rollers when they're right up in your face like that. By the way, like right there, that roller can reach me, even though it looks like they shouldn't. That roller in particular really likes to sneak around inside our base. Kind of predictable in a sense, but still tricky to handle not careful anyway seems we're gonna win the soul deco player was able to hold on to uh, their side for a very long time okay I won this because I had the good players on my team there, there's no contest that's that's why I won I did good for what I was supposed to do but that deco player God, Japanese words, he, he's the one who, she's the one, who, whoever. That player is the reason why we won. The other players didn't seem to be that bad, but there's way too many rollers in this rotation, so gotta switch out. Kelp Dome Splat Zones is the reason why I really wanted to switch to Kelp Splatter Scope. There's just something about this map that, actually I really, I would switch to a Squiffer if they were good enough for uh, Splat Zones, but... Part of the reason is that the range helps doesn't help at all. There's way, way too many spots the opponents can hide behind. I only got my first early splat. Ah! It's always a deco. It's always a deco. Oh, of course! Stupid players just hiding behind that spot. Unbelievably annoying. Oh, of course. What was I supposed to do against that? The, the deco really needs to be nerfed. Like, it's not as special that they need to be nerfed because they're not that great in the hands of other weapons, but... It sure as hell needs to deal much less damage or have a much slower rate of fire. Because it is much too user friendly for players that are just not that great. A range reduction would help a lot too, that's for sure. Yeah, got a player. And now we are in control, which gives us huge advantage. Uh, there's... There's little I can do. 
when I'm being ganked by two players like that. Huh. If, if that guy had splatted us, I would have been so angry. Okay, where do I hit? Where do I hit? Over here. Uh, of course, the Kraken. Every time. It's not enough that I hit them once. I have to hit them twice. Well, we have the advantage, for what it's worth. Now we just have to keep it. Shouldn't be that difficult, but uh, you never know with these games. I see you. Yes, they lost control. They better use control. Uh, that was not a very good use of my uh, special right there. I gotta be more conservative about when I activate that weapon. Yeah. Sometimes enemies are just very aggressive. You know what? I'm just gonna distract you, buddy. I don't have to do anything. My team's winning. Uh, I was hoping I would super jump out of the way, but no, no, not quite. Uh, how did they lose control? I was distracting that player. Stupid decos and gals always being so overpowered. Uh, of course. Of course! And then they get control. Come on! This is the exact same reason why I lost so many times in Road to S rank plus 6, or whatever it was called, the, the episode 6. I kept getting the advantage, and then I would lose in a comeback from the enemy. Every time. Of course, it doesn't help that freaking uh, ranked mode is dominated by nothing but decos, gal decos right now. It's such a... it's, it's the easiest weapon to use in rank just cuz it so it's so versatile with everything if you're if you have their special ready you can always pop invincibility and the kraken to make an immediate uh, reversal on your opponents splash wall is excellent if not the best sub and the weapon itself is like hilariously inaccurate but there's nothing to mitigate or make better what, what how you use that accuracy so the end result is you have a very noob friendly weapon that is also extremely effective in high high level play. It's so dumb. It needs to be nerfed and I don't mean it's sub and special. I need it, the weapon itself. R range reduction as well as uh, slower rate of fire. There's, reducing its attack power will barely do anything if anything at all. So that's the way I would nerf it myself. Because it's way too overused at this point. It's way too overused. Ah, of course. Should have stalted around out of there, but no. Had to be a smart ass. Like, there was no reason for me to stay there. Because even if, uh... Oh my goodness, are you serious? Even if I had, like, uh, not gotten hit... What would I be able to do with a charger? Charger's not designed for that kind of uh, surprise attack. Okay, I'm staying on defensive. Oh, there's an enemy charger? Didn't even notice him. Ah! Hurry up! The player is going inside our base for some reason. Wants to be a smart ass, I bet. I'm trying to catch that player. There. And it finally took care of the player that sneaked inside our base. Took them long enough. Bye bye! I guess they had the same idea. Yeah, so it's another sp uh, kelp sp uh, charger user. Oh, damn it! Wrong time to super jump! But at least I splatted someone. Uh, another game going badly. 
my, I really might as well drop back down to A plus and then climb back to S, cause then at least I'll start at 30 points. You had why does why was no one taking control? Oh, I mean, you guys saw what I was doing. I was doing a decent job defending, right? So what the hell are they doing all the way over there? Are they actually taking control or not? I mean, look at the top player. Only one splat. 11 times killed. Ugh. It's just not my lucky day. I keep getting the worst ally. Like, there's always that one player or two, two players. And they're always, like, really, really weak. I keep getting that player on my team. Maybe occasionally it goes on the other team. But most of the time, I get that player. Uh, I took way too much of a risk. Because I, sli I slipped off at the beginning. I, w I re meant to just stay on the platform, but no, I slipped off. I I've heard uh, people say that the custom jet squelcher is actually really good. I should try that out. When, when I eventually break my rule about not having uh, any, uh, not only using chargers anyway. Because it's probably eventually going to happen. If not because I get frustrated, because uh, for, the, uh, for the entertainment purposes. What? Oh, I knew there was, I knew the dynamo roller was somewhere, but that was just abrupt. Got splat all of a sudden. I uh, can't reach that player. Uh, then there's that one. Okay, taking the lead. That's what I want to see. Decided to do it over there because I don't want them to come over too quickly. I was hoping we would keep an advantage very much longer because I had two chargers uh, in a, an advantage position. That's actually something that's really good, but... No, not quite. Play over here. And of course the bubbler. Oh, it's over? Well, I can't say I'm too happy about that because I'm so low on points that it barely makes a difference. But I suppose it's good for my karma. I really need to warm up more though. Not doing it. I'm not splatting people as much as I should. Maybe I should switch to the uh, unscoped kelp splat charger. Yeah, you know what? I'll skip. I'll, I'll, I'll switch to the unscoped version of the spl kelp splat charger because I might do better. The, the scoped kelp charger is much better in some maps and much better in a technical way, but. I'm just much more used at uh, when it comes to using uh, no scopes at all. Faster. Sneaking by, whatever, and he's lagging, no less. Terrific! That's exactly what I want to see. A lagging blaster on the enemy team. Okay. Get out! Stay in control. We gotta get the most points we can. Ah. The more points we do, the harder it is to, for them to make a comeback. And vice versa. That's the one thing I really learned. Follow this. And yes, that spot I splat that guy right on, that's the spot they all enter from real quick. Play right over there, and there's another one over there. Terrific. Well, if I had a Kraken, that would have been different. It's weird how all of a sudden the entire area is green and my allies are were nowhere to be found. Like, how does that happen so quickly with the en enemies? And I knew you were there. 
get out. Ugh! At least they lost control. Uh, once again, the enemy team makes a freaking amazing comeback because all of a sudden they're everywhere. And all of a sudden they're all splatting us. Of course we lost the lead. Get control! Ah! It won't be so bad if it was back and forth, but... Once they get control of the center area, it's like my team doesn't know what to do. They don't know how to handle dominating players. Y you all have proof that I can at least stay alive, for the most part. I'm staying alive, but yeah, that was eventually gonna happen. I mean, it's a, s a splatter shot user At the very least staying alive like that is still very useful. You're distracting the opponent That's an important tactic to remember So that's where the e-leader is, huh? Ah, oh, dang it Okay, dominating game on our part. <sighs> Thanks to the gal decos, of course. Because they get invincibility and splash wall and all sorts of defensive measures. Yeah, even even when they're on my team, I don't like the gal decos. I keep calling them gal decos, but obviously I mean the point ninety six gals. That player's fast. I don't have to splat the opponent, I just have to distract them. Just distracting an opponent is good enough. Just keeping them from your base is good enough. And of course, they sneak behind. Swim speed up seems to be an excellent thing for ranked mode, by the way. Good speed, a very, very good thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, even I was surprised by my accuracy right there. Stay out. Ah, I missed. And now we're all gone. Once again. They're getting a comeback. Yeah, I knew you were there. Okay, they're all gone. Get control. Oh, they're right there. Oh, I almost had him. There's a very specific timing to when the splash wall breaks and allow allowing you to splat the foe instantly. There's a very specific timing. And then there's a Kraken going around. Ah, almost! That Bamboozler is, player is very good. Bamboozler seems to match the splat charger in range, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, just gotta keep control for a bit longer. Ah, you blocked my shot! Come, why you. Uh, what a moron! At least we won, but jeez! He blocks my shot, he then throws a disruptor, and then a, instead of splatting the opponent, and then he gets splatted himself. Some players can be so infuriating, jeez! Yep, I'm just gonna play defensively. Ah, 
There's a bit of lag going on. I guess playing defensively at the beginning of the match was not a good idea. Because that were at a severe disadvantage. Okay, we're in control. Still have a chance. Gotta be careful for players that love to sneak behind. Like that one right there. I thought I was protected. No, not at all. And all of a sudden, it's all blue. And there's a the freaking... Okay, why aren't they getting rid of the squid beacons? It's right there. Does no one look at their freaking map? Well, at least it splatted him. No, I, we just can't do anything. Too, they have too strong a defense. I think the roller is what kills it. That and players just sneaking behind stuff, waiting for me to get close. Because I can't, I cannot do anything against players that do that. I don't have bombs, I don't have Kraken, I don't have anything. Uh, I only have time for maybe one or two matches, so... I'll switch uh, out from the Kelp Spire Skull because it's not working that well. And see what I can do with something else. Maybe I switch back to the E leader, I don't know. Also, we were against two S plus players, what do you know? The problem is the custom E leader has been tremendously nerfed since I last played with it. Besides the E leader itself getting a regular nerf, Kraken also takes longer to get ready. I guess one of my problems is that I play extremely aggressively with my chargers. When they're not designed to be aggressive. But how can I not play aggressively when my allies are being so terrible? Yeah, I see you. Bye-bye. Uh, and then the enemy Kraken. Ah, uh, my charge wasn't ready. Already we're losing badly, just because these enemies are too good. We can't do anything. Can't take it back control, can't do anything. Is it me? Or is it my allies? Is it me? What do you guys think? This is crazy. I said that at the beginning. I said it at the beginning. Splat zones, kelp dome, and the other map. Just absolute kills chargers. Just murders them. There is absolutely nothing we can do. We cannot carry a game. We cannot we can barely play support. Too many spots people can hide in. Too many spots people just screw around. So I'm breaking all the rules now. I'm breaking all of the rules. Because I want to see how it is with an Octobrush. If it's better or if it's worse. We're going to test that theory right now. See how my Octobrush does in ranked. If it doesn't do that much better, then I guess uh, it's partly my fault and me having bad luck. If not though, then it's clearly a case where this Splat Zones is absolutely no good for Chargers whatsoever. Huh, what do you know? Two charges on my team. Nope! Ah, how did I miss you? There. Just place all the squid beacons in the center. Makes it harder for them to get back on troll. Okay, that was my bad, but you know. I is it because I'm using a melee weapon now? Is it because uh, uh, my allies are good? Who knows? Whatever the case. This is going, I, I feel I'm a lot more proactive. Concerning my weapons now. Oh, I barely missed him.
Wow, surprised I caught that player. And I should have gone, that I should have uh, retreated, but no, I thought I was far, into, uh, far enough. Oh, what? I thought it was ours. Ugh. See how much better it's going now? Because I can handle opponents. It's... If I... If, uh... I'm gonna make this a charge... Uh, not a charger. Uh, a splat zone's only weapon for me to use my Octobrush. Because I cannot do anything with my chargers. This entire video has been there to prove that. To prove that chargers, and especially in some maps on stat zones, you, you can't do anything. It's it's too frustrating to make it work. In Tower Control and Rainmaker, I'll I'll stick to chargers. But when it when stat zones c comes around, I gotta I gotta switch to my Octobrush. Of course, it could up, it could also just be because I got some good allies. But uh, right now, I'm 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 deeming it as uh, the fact that the uh, stat zones. No good for charges at all. Huh. <sighs> okay, I've been playing for an hour. Time for a break. For, probably for another decently long break. I don't know when I'll pick this up again. W whatever the case, next time it's definitely not going to be Splat Zones. Hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.